Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The Ukrainians are asking for it, and why not? That's their right. Uh, they uh, attacked um, Crimea. They attacked a town in Crimea, uh, a military base, or at least around a military base. Uh, the Russians uh, zip it, the Ukrainians uh, posted uh, explosions. So let's see what's going on over there. So this um, article comes from uh, the New Voice of Ukraine from today, February 16th, 2023. Explosions heard in Armiansk in northern Crimea, photo and videos reports. So explosions heard over there. Now, where is this place? Let's get started with this. I want to start with this. Actually, no, I'm going to start with this. So this is Ukraine, the blue right here on the left. Uh, the, this is the, the Dnipro River that cuts uh, Ukraine in two. This is the Crimean Peninsula, the one in red down here. And uh, uh, the town of Armiansk is in the northern Crimea right there, which is right here. If you look on the uh, map on the right, it's right there. That's where the Ukrainians allegedly struck whatever they struck we're going to find out from the uh, article now this is the map of crimea a, um, geographical map here is uh, yeah it could be political as well but this is just geographical so here is armiansk right here and here on the right on the little uh, inserted map on the right upper corner it shows you in uh, where it's at in the context of uh, Europe, Ukraine, Crimea, right there. Black Sea. This is the Sea of Azov. This is Mediterranean. This is uh, Turkey. And right here, Greece, Romania, Russia here. And here's uh, Georgia and all that. So let's, so let's see what can we find out from this article. So the explosions, the explosion happened near a military base, the channel claimed. What the channel is? Is anybody? I don't see any channel. The report, the explosion happened near a military, the channel said, okay. An explo and I'm quoting, an explosion was reported at one of the military bases in Armiansk. In any case, it couldn't be the air defense working, the message reads. Pictures and video of the explosion were published on Telegram channels. In one video, a large white mushroom cloud can be seen rising into the sky. There are no official comments about the cause of the explosion yet. The Kremlin's puppet authorities in Crimea haven't commented on the incident either. There are no official comments about the cause of the explosion yet. The Kremlin's puppet authorities, I said that. Good job, Emil. On February 12th, the Ukrainian guerrillas asked Crimean residents to inform them about places where the invaders' personnel and equipment were concentrated and the locations of repair bases. So uh, I covered a little article earlier today and uh, that little article was about Anthony Blinken, the U.S. Secretary of State, warning um, Ukraine against trying to or attempting to retake Crimea from the Russians because that could possibly escalate uh, the whole thing in a war in itself. So we're not, uh, what's going on over there is not a war. Uh, it is a war, but it's a very much controlled war. Why do I say controlled? I say it many, many times because there are uh, a lot of uh, red lines and there's some agreements behind the scenes. Hey, Ukraine, Ukrainian uh, military cannot hit there, but can hit there. Uh, we're going to give you these weapons, but these weapons, don't use them for that. Don't hit inside Russia. I mean, the Russians are hitting ins inside uh, Ukraine, aren't they? Anyway, that's why I'm saying it's controlled. <coughs> I have to... Uh, bring evidence and i think i just uh, brought a few so nevertheless here with this ukrainian uh, attack again um it might be a red line coming from the russians but who cares about your uh, red lines when you kill 
uh, our people. Let's look at this this way. I mean, put uh, the situation, uh, you know, reverse it and put it, if you want, in the context of your own life and you are having a scuffle with your neighbor and neighbor shoots at you and uh, somehow you're not supposed to shoot at his house. He shoots at your house, bombards your house, but then, and you can't, let's say, bombard his house, but the neighbor gives you uh, the means by saying, hey, don't, don't, don't shoot at his house. Why do you give me the weapons then? What do you mean? And uh, on the other hand, the Russians, they say it's a total war. Total war is one when uh, that's a total war. It's not a total war in my assessment. Why? I compare it with total war. Total Krieg? There's no total Krieg, if you want to use the exactly what I'm referring to. Total Krieg was then, you know, and with atomic bombs dropped, you know, no chemical weapons as far as I know in the second uh, idiot war over there in Europe. But uh, there were massive uh, civilian bombardments and crimes and all-inclusive, let's put it this way. Uh, as I said, I don't know if there were chemical weapons used. But, uh, I mean, yeah, actually there were chemical weapons used. Uh, atomic bomb uh, released chemicals after it detonated and blew up everything, then chemicals fell on poor uh, survivors. So yeah, chemical weapons were used by the bad guys. I mean, the good guys uh, can't be. Uh, now it's a contradiction. What kind of mental gymnastics should I make now to make it sound good? Uh, anyway, maybe I just uh, avoid it like a weasel. Anyway, it's not the point here. The point here is that the Ukrainians again are able and capable and willing right to destroy targets inside Crimea and for me I mean I don't know how important that military base is whatever it's over there I don't know three cows five chicken and uh, some rusty Soviet uh, AK-47 or something I don't know but to be able to hit those those targets I don't know how they will hit they were hit by uh, you know chick, 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 chick. Boom. I don't think that's happened. I think it was more like uh, with a uh, joystick, you know, and something dropped. Or maybe simply a missile. So, I mean, it's very much north. So from there to the front, to the uh, to the front, I don't think it's more than 100 kilometers. I, I don't think it's 100 kilometers. But anyway, so possibly the, the Ukrainians have the ability, the missile, the weapons, capable of hitting this close with precision provided by uh, <coughs> you know, information where and how and all that. So anyway, uh, so I don't know if it was defended by S-300, S-400, S-3000 or whatever. The fact is it landed over there and things like this will occur in the future because you're going to have people, uh, even if this was not something that was, you know, launched from Ukraine into uh, Crimea or Russia now, uh, and it was from within, you will always have within troops that will uh, do this kind of so-called sabotage or fighting behind uh, the enemy's, uh, enemy's lines, lines and all that. So there would be an uh, ongoing uh, problem in Russia forever. But, well... Uh, it's not about this, but uh, big achievements come uh, with big uh, sacrifices and efforts. So, if these guys just jump towards uh, all that territory, there's going to be a lot of things behind, left behind, that would uh, ch -ch stab you in the back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.